Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see one of the interesting feature which is introduced in Informatica MDM 10.3. And that feature is nothing but the elastic search. In today's tutorial, we are going to have overview about this feature. So let's start. What is elastic search? Before introducing this feature in Informatica MDM 10.3, we use the Solar Search to do the Smart Search in the IDD application or NTT 360 application. However, in recent studies, it is identified compared to Solar Search, Elastic Search performs better, and hence Informatica is more inclined towards using using this tool or this software. Elasticsearch is an open source, so that means it is developed by some community and it is available to use by any other developer or the software system. It is distributed and multi-tenant capable. That means you can have this application running on the multiple nodes and you can achieve the better scalability as well as performance. It is very good in nature for a full text search as like Solar because Solar is developed by Apache and the Elastic Search is developed by some other community. However, we can search this full, uh, full text using Elastic Search. This tool is developed based on the Java application. So as like the other Java application, the MDM is also based on the Java application. So it makes sense to use the elastic search integrated uh, with the Informatic MDM. So as I said, it's an open source, distributed, multi-tenant, capable of searching the full text data. Elastic search can be used in data director, data director application that is IDD. Or if you are developing any custom application, you can use elastic search there as well, as it is a third party or a standalone. Uh, tool it can be integrated with any other application it is not necessary uh, to use only in the IDD or the entity 360 the search with the elastic search replaces the search with the solar the search functionality using solar is kind of going to be deprecated even they are still supporting even the informatic is still supporting the solar search with the 10.3 but going forward, it is going to be deprecated. Elasticsearch comes with a multiple component, which we can discuss in our separate tutorial. However, in this today's tutorial, we'll just focus on how the Informatic MDM and the Elasticsearch get integrated with each other, how this search, Elasticsearch works internally. So those are the things we are going to see. The other things such as the Elasticsearch architecture and how to install the Elasticsearch or how to configure Elasticsearch with the Informatic MDM Hub and other components we'll see in the upcoming session. So let's have some more interesting facts about the Elasticsearch. Before using Elasticsearch, we have to make sure we have configured the MDM Hub server and the process server. Those are the very basic component, component of the MDM. Once we configure MDM Hub server and the process server, we also have to do the indexing of data. After doing all this stuff, then and then we can use the index, uh, use the elastic search. When we index the data, the MDM hub processes the records and adds such index records to the elastic server. In the architecture of elastic search, we'll see the what is this elastic search server, what is MDM server, how they are connected. But for now, we have to remember when we index any data, the hub process processes those records to index it. And once it is indexed, those are pushed to the Elasticsearch server. So whenever any record gets searched using Elastic server, record will be always already there, which is indexed, and the, it will perform the faster search. We can use multiple nodes if the data is large for one node. That is very a normal practice or the standard practice in enterprise application to have the multi-cluster, multi-node environment 
to have the scalability and better performance of our application. But important thing to remember here is the Elasticsearch also is a multi-tenant. So you, you can install the multiple instances of Elasticsearch on multiple servers and leverage its a performance feature in better way. If there are multiple nodes with the if you have the high volume of data then we can spread across the multiple node also we can split the indexes into multiple shards also if the index is too big so that is also possible okay so those are the basic things we need to remember but how it works internally how how it happens how the search happens when you search record in the idd or customer 360 application before searching any record, very very preliminary step is we have to make the record index. And that is the important step. Once the record is indexed, it is easy to search. But making such record get indexed, it involves so many steps. If we have the data already loaded in the system, we have to execute a job which is present in the MDM hub. And the name of job is initially index smart search data so this job is used to index the data so if the data is already present for example if you're running the incremental data load every day or what are the your frequencies so that means there is a data and you have to execute this job to make the records index or consider the case where it's initial data load you are going to just load the data on the day one in that case, we don't need to run this initially index smart search data job. The reason is when on the on the day one when we when we do the initial data load, as soon as we start the load job, load job take care of the running initially index smart search data batch job. So we don't have to explicitly run during the initial data load, but for the incremental data load, we need to run. When we, uh, when, when we execute this job, okay, it is not necessary we have to just execute on one particular table. Consider the customer 360 application or the entity 360 application, where the business entity is made of, uh, it's built of multiple base object. If the business entity contains multiple base object, then we have to run this initially index marks search job smart uh, search data batch job on all such base objects this job particularly indexes the records asynchronously that means we, we don't have to wait to record get its index we have to just execute this job and let we have to la let it leave it as is however even if we are saying it's asynchronous it reports the successful completion after all the records are queued for the indexing so once all the records are queued for indexing, we get the success message for the job. Internally, MDM processes those records from the queue. When we run the job on the base object, Elastic Server, Elastic Search Server, indexes the data in the searchable field. So whatever the searchable fields we have configured for those records will be get indexed. The job then adds this indexed data to the collection. So first it create the indexes on searchable field and all those indexes all such index data is added into the collection that collection represents the business entity uh, which include the searchable fields so first is indexing the data for the searchable field and adding those to the collection those things happen if the collection is too large means if data or the searchable fields are too many then your collection will be too large such collection we can split into a small one or more shards. Shards are the actual the logical pieces of the uh, collection split uh, or the multiple nodes. So means the same collection part is split into the multiple parts and distributed on the multiple nodes. How it is get combined and how it is get to return to the search that will be taken care of by the serve, elastic search server. So we don't have to worry for that. When we perform a search, the Elastic Search server reads the collection and returns the matching record. 
A search request can show the index record only after the successful completion of the index request. So when we execute that job, it will just queue those record for indexing. It is not going to actually index the record. But if you want to see the record into the search result, then that record has to be indexed, which normally takes a few minutes. If we update the searchable properties of a field, because searchable property is present in the provisioning tool where we can update. Once we update any property, we need to index the data again. The reason is if you update any property for the searchable field, the indexes of that data are get deleted. We run the in, uh, this job to index the data. So whenever there is a change that happens on the uh, such property, but you have to also keep in mind that this job we cannot run in parallel because it's very resource intensive. After all these things happen, the search request uses the index indexes from this elastic search and return the record. So this is the way the actual the mechanism happens, indexing happens, it goes to the collection and then if the collection is too large it gets split across the multiple nodes and then after the search is performed then record is written from that search collection. Where the job present in the MDM hub? Yeah definitely you, you got that question in your mind. I'm glad you got asked that question. So this is very pretty simple. You might have seen the job, but but never has you have used before. The name of job is initially index smart search data, which present in the batch viewer. It is it will not show anything right now because uh, it is a very plain job, which is required if you are using the 10.3 feature. Where I can see the Elastic Search and the ID, it's very simple. If you are using Entity 360. You can see on the right hand side there is a search box you have to select the a business entity here in this case it is a person and you can search anything i just give the bo asterisk and it is giving the return it is returning the result this is the smart search which is getting used it is very powerful look wise it is very simple but it gives the more better performance once you search the record you can open and you'll see the additional sections the sorting functionality filter functionality etc you can also do the uh, the query search here but the smart search is different than the query search that is the only difference uh, I would like to highlight here query search you can see the match score also because it's using the match uh, uh, if you are using uh, advanced search the match uh, search match will be used which will return the match score so this is for today's session I hope you got some basic idea the, about the elastic search Keep watching for next tutorials because we are going to discuss what is the architecture of the Elasticsearch and how to configure Elasticsearch in Informatica MDM. Thank you again. Have a nice time.